Why do I get headaches with TOS? Well, a lot of patients get headaches with TOS because they have to deal with their insurance companies. And I don't mean to be uh, smart about it. It does happen to people. But let's talk a little bit about headaches and TOS. The headache is split into many different types. And I'm not a neurologist and I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. But there are types of headaches that we believe are more associated with TOS. Number one, there's an occipital headache or a headache that's in the back of the skull. If these muscles are tight, the muscles that hold up the neck and skull, like after a long day at work frequently, those muscles can go into spasm and they can create a pretty severe headache. In addition, there's sheets of tissue called fascia that run alongside the muscles. And those fascia have small holes in them to transmit nerves, like the very small occipital nerves. If that sheet of fascia is pulled tight down in the neck and chest because of TOS or because of abnormal posture of the neck and head, then those small holes can malalign and they can pinch the occipital nerves and create pain in that area. In addition, we know that in many patients with neurogenic TOS, they have a component of venous congestion where the veins don't drain properly from the arms or from the head and neck. And we believe that that venous congestion allows the brain to be a little too full of fluid, the pressure 